I've been playing for three years in the league. This will be this is my third year. This is I missed the first two years, so this would be about my fifteenth year in the league. But I played one year for Western in 1972, 73, okay. and then I didn't skate for twenty some years. For me, um, it's been my favorite sport to watch and to play, and um, I forgot how much fun it was. So when the league um, started by Lori Springall and Dr. Sharon Buhner, um, we were going to put in a Sioux College team, and they said, no, nope, everybody has to go through a draft. So I had been the only person interested in playing that had ever played uh, when we were trying to put together a Sioux College team, so as a result, I convinced about 50 ladies to join the league, and I didn't <laughs> the first two years. <laughs> and, uh, Lindsay? and for me, I figure skated as a child, so a couple of my friends were playing in the league, and they were like, oh, come out, come out. So my first time on hockey skates, I went um, on a lake, a frozen lake, and I skated with them, and I loved it ever since, and I joined that, that following year. I actually didn't have any, you know, I knew about hockey NHL because my dad, you know, had me on the ice when I was a little, little Kid. So my dad really inspired me to play, um, but I would say Wayne Gretzky because he played for the Super Heroes. Then for me, I came out of the womb a Montreal Canadian fan, and I'm one of the oldest in the league, so Jean Beliveau was my idol. Um, of females, there was not a lot of female hockey for my generation. In fact, a girl, in, uh, Justine Blaney, had to go to the Supreme Court to be able to play, have the right to play hockey. She was on a boys team and she wanted girls hockey. They wouldn't let her be on a boys team. So there's a lot of history of uh, trying to get girls hockey and now it's growing in leaps and bounds. My understanding is there's over 350 women this year. Our league specifically, which is the beer league, has eight teams. It happens a lot in, in, in you know, are you okay? I didn't mean it. Such a, or I'm sorry, yeah. and they help each other out. Everyone is there to have fun, cheer each other on, and come out and get some exercise. And each year, players are drafted, so there's no guarantee you're going to be on the same team um, consecutive years. And so it engenders, it, it engenders a lot of uh, camaraderie and making new friends and maybe a player that you thought was a little too rough when they're on your team, you're thinking, hey, she's not too rough. It's okay, usually it's by accident. You'll run into somebody, nobody's here to hurt each other. It typically happens, you know, somebody falls, somebody trips each other, but no one does it to hurt another. Try it, you'll love it. Come out and play, it's a lot of fun. Even if you can't skate, the fun league will teach them. And the more you skate, the better you'll you'll get, you'll improve and learn how to stick handle. So you just have to sign up. There's a website that has an application and you sign up. It starts in early October and it ends early April. I'm out and play, it's really fun.